Celeste wears its message on its sleeve, with its theme of mental health being at the forefront of the game. The main character, Madeline, goes off to climb Mount Celeste. On the mountain, she finds a mirror, and in the mirror, she sees parts of herself that she doesn't like. The game is about her developing a better relationship with those parts of herself and finding inner peace. The strength that one acquires through finding this kind of harmony is shown to the player by adding a second dash to Madeline's abilities. Usually, Madeline can do one dash and then her red hair will turn blue, returning her to the ground to recharge. After embracing the other half of herself, she gains the purple hair from her counterpart and she can literally aim higher and achieve things that she could never hope to if she had not found peace with that other side of herself. But Madeline is not the only character climbing Mount Celeste, and in this video I want to talk about the other character, Theo, and shed some light on his story and the dangers of social media. Theo is a character that communicates to the player the dangers of associating your sense of self-value with the likes and followers you have on social media. And for that reason, the main purpose of your first meeting with him is to associate him with that theme. Theo is an avid user of the game's Instapix, and he uses the username Theo Understands. The developers went so far to actually make this a real Instagram account, which you can follow and learn more about Theo and his life events. With that being established, the second meeting with Theo is to establish focus on how they are going to look at the theme of social media. In the first level, Theo was talking about uh, coming to the mountain to self-reflect. But now that he has climbed to the first checkpoint, he says that it was worth it because he managed to get so many photos. And maybe by using those photos, he can finally get to a thousand followers. The underlying psychology here is that the value of life is in the experiences you acquire throughout it. And an experience has more value if it gets more likes or more followers on social media. Therefore, your life has more value if you have more likes and more followers. Theo is actually going through a type of existential crisis where he doesn't know what the purpose of his life is. So he has come to Mount Celeste to try and find that, but when he gets there, he falls into old habits of trying to fill that void with likes and followers. Social media has grown to constantly be on his mind, even when he comes to a mountain where there is no reception. The second focus of the theme is shown to us when Theo takes a selfie with Madeline. Not to post, but just for the memory of it. Even so, he puts a filter on the photo. He says, nobody looks good without a filter. Theo puts filters on photos so that he will look better to the people that view those photos on Instagram. But this mentality has sunk in so deep into his character that he does it even for photos he's not going to post. He has developed a complex where he feels that there are always eyes on him and he has to be cool or look good. And because he feels these eyes on him and is always focusing on how people perceive him, he doesn't get the chance to self-reflect and ask who he really is. Finally, we get a bit of backstory when we learn that he took up photography because his late grandfather was so good at it and when he does it, he feels connected to him. The conversation ends when Madeline tells Theo that she doesn't have a smartphone and he doesn't know how to respond to this. So much of his experience of climbing the mountain or even just going through life in general revolves around how to portray it on his smartphone. So if you took that away, what is even left? He doesn't know. He doesn't know how to respond to Madeline. The two part ways and continue their climbs up the mountain. Then they meet again when they arrive at the gondola, which takes you to the mirror temple. While they're on the gondola, the ride gets a little rocky and Madeline gets scared, but Theo doesn't notice because he's taking selfies. We often use the phrases be in the moment or be present, but what does this actually mean? I believe it means to be experiencing your life as it is in that moment. So engaging with the sounds and the sights around you and the person in front of you. Devices like smartphones open up our environment to include so many things and so many people that aren't actually with us right now. But they also stop us from connecting with what is directly around us. 
and in a way, from experiencing life. Theo's foam completely extracts him from the environment of the gondola. Rather than being present in the room with her, he's in a lounge in his mind with all the people that follow him on Instagram, and he wants to go up to each one of them and show them the selfie of how cool the gondola is. He's lost sight of the person in front of him. He's not in the moment. Once he realizes what's happening to Madeline, he snaps out of it, and he actually is really helpful to her. But not so much in the next level. The next level is the turning point for both of the character arcs in the story. The mirror temple is a location in the game that allows you to have a good look at yourself in the mirror. But Theo gets pulled into the mirror, and what he sees in the mirror starts to manifest into reality. He says the world is shaping itself around him, and the eyes which he feels on him from social media start to manifest all around him. Theo wants to show these eyes a polished version of himself in his life, and that manifests as him being trapped within a shiny diamond. But he actually is incapable of freeing himself from the diamond, and the reason he gives is he doesn't know why he's in it. The tendency to shine up his life for these invisible eyes that he feels on him is a subconscious tendency. He's never asked himself why he is putting a filter on a photo that he's never going to show anyone. Because every time life presents him with an opportunity to self-reflect, like the mountain, all he sees is how he can use that experience and then shine it up for social media so that he will get likes and followers and feel like his life has more purpose while actually doing nothing for it. After you release Theo from the diamond by destroying the eyes that watch him, he apologizes to Madeline for not being more help to her in their escape from the temple. Being stuck in the diamond stopped him from helping her out of the temple, just like being stuck trying to take selfies stopped him from realizing what was happening to her on the gondola. Social media is preventing Theo from being there for the people he really cares about. The two sit down and Theo opens up to Madeline about his existential crisis. Theo moves from his home in California to Seattle in hopes that he will find purpose in life there through a new job. But within days, he realizes that the purpose he's looking for is not there and the job is going to crush his soul. Instead, he turns to the wisdom from his late grandfather and goes to Mount Celeste, the mountain which changed his grandfather's life. He comes to the mountain so that the journey of climbing it will allow him to self-reflect, and he finds that self-reflection in the mirror temple, where he gets a look in the mirror and finally sees what is preventing him from finding purpose in life. He could find purpose in life for being there for the people he loves, but he won't be able to do that if he can't be in the moment. I won't ruin the expansion levels for anyone that hasn't finished them yet, but if you look at them side by side with Theo's Instagram, you can see that he really wants to be there for Madeline in her time of need. Not only that, but after leaving the mountain, he went back to California, to his home and his family, so that he can be there for his little sister. His little sister Alex is going through law school, and he wants to be there if it turns out to be a bit of a gondola ride. But don't worry, if Alex is having trouble, he's no longer stuck in the diamond. He is present, in the moment, ready to help the people he loves. And he will find fulfillment in doing so. I really like Theo's story because it shows us there's more than one reason why people go to the mountain, and we all have our own thing that we see in the mirror. I definitely would encourage you to look for your own happiness and purpose in life. I really like talking about the themes in video games, and I have a lot of videos talking about the, uh, the mental health aspect of Final Fantasy X, so have a look at those as well. Thanks for watching, good luck on your journey.